Good morning, folks. We've got solar activity to see, a look in on those tropical storms in the Atlantic, an excellent paper on pre-seismic signals, and two papers that help push forward our understanding of what's about to happen to Earth. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star. There were several filament releases and active region surges, including one that occurred near center disk this morning. The ramp up in solar activity at the moment is evident and eruption watch is required at not only the active regions, but once again, the plasma filaments as well. As evidenced by the last 24 hours of activity at the large filament complex incoming on the north. We'll have eyes on all of it. As we know, there are two storm systems churning in the Atlantic right now. Let's get an update on their expected tracks. Bread is still expected to enter the Caribbean, but what happens from there is a bit more of a question in the models. The second storm is expected to skirt the islands and then begin a more northward track, but further flare activity could push it further west. We'll have eyes on both of those. Meanwhile, the storms that popped up yesterday in Colorado were wild. The system spanned from the Dakotas to Texas, but here in the springs, it was a hail bonanza, and the lightning show at night was off the charts. Expect more convective development today. Great paper here on an undeniable pre-seismic signal detection of the electromagnetic nature that occurred before a surge in earthquakes in 2000, and then again right before the big 9.0 in Japan in 2011. The topic is well established after everyone, including us, were called pseudoscientists for suggesting it back in 2011 and 2012. Earthquakes are electric. A good paper is out about the failure of models to reproduce changes in the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, the AMOC, and reports the uncertainty of most models given the rapid changes we are seeing now. In that same vein, those rapid changes we are seeing now, both in the AMOC and in the northern temperature shifts, are confirmed as the precursor to dansgaard oeschger cooling events. Where have we heard that before? This not only hints at what's about to happen to this planet, but we are perfectly due for one, and we also know that this 1,500-year cycle event is actually the 6,000 and 12,000-year harmonics that produce even more severe changes to Earth. They're coming. We greatly appreciate your support. Be sure to check out the resources in the description box below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.